Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the Disks and Volumes tool that comes with Windows 11. So I used to have something similar in Windows 10, and then for some reason Microsoft took it away, uh, so it's not there anymore. But it looks like it's there in Windows 11, so hopefully it'll stay there. So to get to it, well first let me show you the uh, Disk Management, which you might be used to seeing. So on this computer here I have the C drive with three partitions or volumes, the uh, main one, then I have the recovery partition, the system partition, then I have an unallocated secondary physical hard drive here with 60 gigs in space with nothing, you know, no volumes assigned, no partitions, that kind of thing. So to get to the uh, new settings, you click on start and you go to the Windows settings, then under system, look for storage, then advanced storage settings, and then disks and volumes. And now you'll see we have that same 70 gig C drive with the three partitions. And then we have the uh, one new 60 gig hard drive with unallocated space. So far to click on the C drive there, I could click on Explore and open it up. Or I could see its properties, change the label, see the file system type, the status, how much is used, change the size if there was room to uh, change the size, view the usage that kind of thing. And I'll go back into it. Oops. And then if you click on the actual disk itself, not the partitions or the volumes, and then go to the properties, you can see its location, the the bus number, uh, if it's a basic disk or dynamic, I'm going to click on advanced. You get to this information here, the volumes, drivers, details, nothing too exciting here. This is a new VM right here, virtual machine, so there's not much going on here. Online, uh, estimated life rating, 100%. This information is not accurate because it's a virtual machine, so it's not a real physical hard drive. It's a virtual hard drive. So that's obviously it's not 11,000 degrees, otherwise it would be on fire here. So it's using the GUID partition table. You can get backup information. You could uh, I'll click on this. It'll just take you to a Microsoft website and get more information. So let me go back to this unallocated one. So this is a new 60 gig disk unallocated space. So if I click on that, I could actually create a volume right from here instead of having to go into disk management. And you click on advanced. Let's call this uh, data. E drive's fine, NTFS good, the size if you wanted to use all of it, you know, minimum 8 megabytes up to 61 gigs. And if you want to mount a folder, that kind of thing, you want to change the allocation size from the default, you could do that. Then quick format, and then we just click on format here. So now we have our data drive, and if I open File Explorer, there it is. So if I go to this PC, the C drive and our new E drive there. Didn't even have to go into disk management. So once again, uh, when you're in storage, just click on the advanced storage settings, disks and volumes, and then you can come here, see your disk information or your volume slash partition information for all of the drives on your computer. So it's just an alternative to using uh, the disk management that's been around for years and years. So check it out if you're running Windows 11 and see if you like it better. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.